number 14 of our series. And the new chord we've got today is D minor. So there it is on the chart. We start D minor by putting down our first finger on the first fret of the uh, E string. And then these two fingers come up to the remaining two strings up here so that we get the th third finger there and the second finger there. So we build the chord one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. That gives us D minor chord. So a common change in D minor would be uh, F to D minor. And that's actually quite easy because then what we have to do is just lift up the middle finger, the ring finger, sorry. So we lift up the ring finger, that gives us F. We put it down, that gives us D minor. So if I can get a better angle for you there. So there's D minor. And then I just lift up that finger and I get F. So that's a pretty easy chord change. Let's do it along with the metronome. Oh, I think we can get a little bit faster than that, it being easier. Let's start with a D minor chord. One, two, three, four. D minor. Good. So that's a common uh, chord sequence or parts of chord sequences in songs. Here's another one that often happens, C to D minor. Now this one's a little harder because you have to completely let go and completely construct your D minor from the C. So C, put the finger down and then put the other two down. So C, anchor with the first finger, then put the other two down. So it becomes a little motion like that and eventually it becomes one motion. Right, let's try it with a metronome. We start with the C. One, two, three, four. C. Anchor down. D minor. Back to C. Anchor down. D minor. C. One, two, three. C. One, two, three. that challenging but not terrible and very quickly it become easy and you'll wonder why you ever had to spend this time with me I, um, the next one we're going to do and the last exercise for this video we're going to jump between G and D minor so that's three finger chord to a three finger chord so there's our G and we have to completely let go and build our D minor then completely let go and shake one two three G and shake one, those two down, D minor. That's a good one for practicing using all three fingers. All right, here we go. We'll start with the G. One, two, one, two, three, four. Two, three, four.
So I hope these videos are being very encouraging to you. Keep going back. Repetition is key. Keep going back. Get more and more polish. And your fingers will get stronger and your fingertips tougher. And you will find these all become really, really easy. Thank you for choosing the best instrument in the world to play. And I'm a drummer. So I still think the ukulele is the best instrument. And I've been drumming for far more years than I've been playing a ukulele. But this is a brilliant little instrument. See you on the next video.